Hello, this is Lloyd Tran. I am the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. Nanotechnologies have a big impact in the warfare and the way people are fighting the war nowadays. As you know, nanotechnologies in the new field utilize the best of physical science and life science. It gives countries, companies a powerful tool in developing weapons and a way to uh, protect the, even the soldiers. Today, uh, there is a, a research institute in the East Coast. This is the Soldier Research Institute of Nanotechnologies, which is a joint development of uh, MIT and Harvard. There are a number of uh, professors, scientists, and researchers work in the certain field of application of nanomaterials for the welfare, particularly in the development of uh, protection method for the soldiers. And they figure out the way that they develop a new uh, clothing, the new um, protection gears for our soldiers so that uh, when a soldier in a better field, they have the benefit of uh, using advanced technologies to protect uh, the, person, the personnel from either potential um, temperature fluctuation in the desert, uh, potential contamination. If the soldier get wounded, the material have ability to release um, antimicrobial protection to help to heal the wound. Uh, the nanotechnologies has been used to develop a uh, new product which is stronger, have a very large, very um, tremendous explosive ability. At the same time, it could be very small and compact. And that's a tremendous you know, advantage in the warfare. So in a nutshell, I think uh, nanotechnologies can be used either way. It could be a very harmful way, can be used beneficial way. It's up to us to use it wisely. This is Lloyd Tran with the California Institute of Nanotechnology.